Hello and thank you very much for joining me today. Today I will be unboxing the Paul Valentine advent calendar, which looks like this. Oh, it's huge. Oh la la. Very fancy. Uh, if you'd like to skip straight to the unboxing, I'll put the timestamp down in the either the comments or the description. Uh, but however, if you're happy to hear me kind of give you a bit of information and stay stay tuned. So I paid £130 for this calendar, uh, which is a lot, so I have high hopes. And it was really hard to pick one advent calendar because every company ever seems to be doing them at the moment. And I was looking at all the beauty focused ones, but I thought I have so many beauty subscription boxes and beauty products that by the time it gets to December, I'm just not gonna be that excited. So, uh, I don't know if you've ever noticed, I have this rose gold engagement ring, which I'm very lucky to own, but I have no other rose gold jewelry. So I saw that Paul Valentine have this advent calendar where you can choose rose gold, gold or silver as your jewelry pieces. And I think, I think, but I might be wrong, you get 11, or so jewellery pieces and the rest are beauty products so that seems like a nice balance and they've kind of given teasers to some of the brands so I think OPI is going to be in there I think Rituals is going to be in there I can't remember the top of my head because I bought this months ago now the catch is I'm not going to be sat here opening it as I normally would I really bought this actually for myself to enjoy and actually really enjoy the experience of opening it properly each day in December rather than opening it all now. Um, however, I still want to share it with you in case you're interested in it for yourself next year. So the format is gonna be, I'm introducing myself now, hello. I'm giving you a little sneak peek. Let's open this up as well. But then each day I'm gonna film individually just the product itself opening. So hopefully that'll work and then I'll come back at the end of December with all the products and talk a bit about about what's in there and what I thought on the whole. So if you're up for that, keep watching. Um, but let's get this little open. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, can you see? Oh my days. I'm gonna break it before I start. There we go. It's so pretty. We have gosh, 24 days. I think 24 days so we've got make it shine and we've got something in here if it's a spoiler sheet I'm not gonna look at it it's not so let's give it a little read hello beautiful we hope you love our selection of products handpicked especially for you to sweeten up your Christmas we have collaborated with some magnificent brands in beauty and lifestyle your new breathtaking jewelry is particularly harmonized with amazing care and cosmetic products as well as marvelous hair care Enjoy and have a magical Christmas. And then we have a list of the brands that come in. So that's exciting. So I've, I've, yeah, as I said, I bought it absolutely ages ago. So I've actually been really excited for the wait, just seeing it and not being able to touch it. That's fine. Yes, yeah, so as I film this, it's the last day of November. So the next time you'll see this face, will be sooner for you than it will for me because it'll be the end of December and I'll have them all opened and it'll have been Christmas. Yeah, and we'll assess, assess the calendar then, but I'm excited. And yeah, hopefully this is an okay way of sharing it with you. So here we go, enjoy.
that was all of the unboxing to the Paul Valentine 2022 advent calendar. I filmed this at the end of January so as you can tell it's taken me a long time to actually get myself in gear and get this out but um, yeah it's done and I would absolutely as always love to know your thoughts. My overall verdict was I really enjoyed it. I'm able to kind of introduce the jewellery as you might be able to see into just like my everyday look. I think my worry was it was going to be like more on the fancier side which isn't particularly my vibe like some of the more sparkly stuff wasn't as much uh, what I'm into but it's still nice that they're included so I'm pleased that there was some of the bits in there that were delicate but were also like I think can be a bit more casual as well so yeah I'm really pleased with them um, and it made it a bit more exciting I think to have I still enjoyed the beauty product side of it on the whole but just to ha when you got a piece of jewellery just how special that felt I really really enjoyed it and I would consider it again I've seen well Paul Valentine have kind of sent a thing out being like would you be interested in seeing an all jewellery calendar for next year and obviously they would have to put the price up I think personally no I think they could be overkill. I think the amount I got in this one was probably like spot on. And personally, I feel any more would be a bit, yeah, a bit much and a non to that you just wouldn't use it all realistically. Maybe you would, but okay, I wouldn't use it all realistically. Um, but I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what they offer and whether I'm pulled in again for 2023, which is what we're in now, which is mad. Um, but yeah, please, please, please let me know your thoughts on the calendar. Apologies that it took so long to get this out uh, and thank you for your patience and see you next time. Thank you.